Enrique. Uh, are you going to be at uh, Tu Casa uh, in an hour? Um, okay. I want to come out there and bring the uh, letter that I have and see if you can uh, help me. Uh, I'll be there in an hour. Okay. See you then. Bye-bye. got this letter, I'm going to show it to you. Come on in. Okay. You want something to drink? No, I'm okay. <laughs> what you got? Got a letter here from, that was sent to me about, oh, then now about 10 years ago. And uh, it finally got to me. Uh, it's taken it a while. And, uh, but it was sent to my, from my friend. Um, uh, Thomas um, David Abrams, and uh, he's now dead. But um, the letter shows that uh, there's a treasure around here uh, of the Mayas. So um, I'm going to show you this letter and. Uh, need your help to be able to go, go find this stuff. It says, Dear John, it says, how are you doing? Uh, I'm very sick now, but uh, I want to thank you for helping me in the past. Um, we wanted to, uh, I wanted to be able to say this to you in person, but I'm dying now, and uh, I'm sending you this letter so that you can go and recover the treasure that I buried uh, up in the hills in Zacatecas. Um, the closest town is Atalinga, and the uh, ranch is Via Hidalgo. And uh, there is where I lived for 20 years. And I need you to go to that house. And there you will see uh, on one of the walls a picture of an eagle, a uh, Mexican emblem. And uh, from there, you'll, uh, you'll need to take some people that can help you dig. Um, but if you go eight steps, one direction, straight out the door from where the eagle is at. Then you turn left and you go 11 steps. You'll need to start digging on the side of the wall of the, of the house at that point. There you will find buried a, a jar with the, with the map of where the treasure is at. There are two gold plates at this first um, place and it's a cave, a small cave and the directions are on that map. So what I'm needing you to do, Ricky, is, is help me go um, find this treasure. And uh, we probably need maybe another person to go with us. Um, I want to come up here tomorrow and um, we can head out early, um, go to the house, see if we can find the, uh, the map that uh, my uh, old friend talked about. And if we do, then uh, as he describes in the his adventures, there are two of the gold plates 
they're Maya. And uh, he has them buried up here. And from there, he says he, he has more of these uh, gold plates. And uh, we will hopefully find some other evidence of, of the plates. Now, is tomorrow fine for you to go help? But what do you need? Well, we're going to need some tools to dig with. We're going to need a, a pickaxe. We're going to need a shovel. Um, maybe another person. And uh, the, uh, the house is not too far from here. It will take us about 30 minutes of driving time to, to go there and uh, start looking around. Um, I haven't been up to, to this area uh, for some time, and uh, we'll just have to see what we can find. One only, one never knows, you know, it may, we may not find anything. And then again, we may be lucky and uh, find what uh, my friend buried. Um, it's probably he was a very honest person with me, so I fully suspect that uh, we'll find something. So, you think you can? I can help you. Okay. You can come back tomorrow, and I have somebody of mine and some tools. We can go okay. take a look and see what we can find. Well, I will. Just come back early in the morning. And I will see you then. Yeah, okay. Hey, <laughs> how you doing there? Okay, open the door. Yeah. Two more beer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
This is the house. It's pretty sad shape. No roof. The guy lived here for 20 years. That was his kitchen. His furnace. You think you're gonna find anything here? Well, we're gonna have to, have to dig. I mean, that's all we can do. Well. We gotta look. Those platys plates are millions of dollars. A lot of money. Plus. Okay. The information, the information, is important for the writing of the book. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Yep. So what are we looking for? We're looking for an eagle. Take a look at an aguila. I'll paint it on the wall and some some numbers on the wall. For the. A date. This thing could be anywhere. I don't think it's on the floor. Don't stir up too much gas. Well, they definitely hung something in the slaughter this year. Okay, well, let's uh, start digging around the foundation. He said that once it was in the room that was high up.
There's the eagle. There's the vibro. The eagle, Aguilar. The cactus. Nombre. And date. 1960. That's when he put the... That's when he buried the plates. And there are a lot of plates. So, this was his house. Not much of a house now. But, we got to start to find the where the plates are at. Okay. The letter says, eight pesos, eight steps this way, and 20 to the left. So, okay. from the eagle. This is the eagle. So, one, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, seven, eight. And this way. Okay. Uno. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Here, somewhere, is supposed to be the around this area here. So we're going to have to dig. Knock all these rocks out. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. This is going to cost you, John. Yep. You sure? Yep. Have them go get some food. Get the food. Fix it. While we're okay. digging. Que vayan a hacer comida porque aquí se va a tardar un buen rato. Ah, a okay. prepararla. Sí, okay. Está bien. Sí. Okay. Here, look what I found. I found something, John. That's, that must be it. Anything else? No, that's it. Hey, look. There's the map. Here, they found the map. Okay, there's the house, and there's the road, the Rio, the river, and there's the where the cave's supposed to be. So, what does this mean? This is the man's name, Thomas David Abrams. This is the man that lived in the house for all this time. So, and it must be real because, look, prints of gold dust all over the map so well, there's north on. and so we'll have to drive over walk a little bit and look for the cave so vamos we go
beach would be over here. And north, north day. So let's go down this way and then we'll head head there. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. It's just real short distance because there's the water. And so look around because there's going to be an opening somewhere along one of these walls. And that'll be the cave. You know, it's marked, but we don't know how far it is. So look around, keep your eyes open. Make sure you don't get into any snakes. Okay. We ought to be able to get a little bit of that splash.
Ce bani? guys go back look around see if you see any over gente problemas okay. and then go back well what did you say that John I just mean let's get this Do we have to dig or want to blow stuff up? I don't know. We just have to take a look and see what... What does the map say? The map says look around on the ledge. On the ledge? Yeah. Well, Maybe a Reba. Maybe a Bajo. Okay, I need the pig. Okay, here's the pig. Be careful. Don't pull any off the ceiling. I found something, John. What? I don't know. Pull it out. Looks like some plates. Look what I found. There they are. Those, wow. Those placas. That's what we're looking for. Is there any more? Let me check. 
We found them. They're great. Let's go and let's get out of here before somebody comes. Okay. Come on, let's go, vamos. Here. Here, get the map. Okay, my hand is flat. <laughs> 